is going to say a few words about Duncan. Mr. Lee. Thank you, Terry, for the uh, invitation to be here. Good afternoon, all distinguished guests. In particular, I would like to acknowledge Mr. Lock Brown, the President of the Vietnamese community in South Australia. And many, many distinguished members of Vietnamese communities are here with us today. And all the Australian friends, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, I've been asked uh, to speak in English because uh, I have only allowed a uh, allow few minutes, so I can't do it in, uh, in Vietnamese as well. So please uh, forgive me for that. It's a great honor to be here to enjoy and to witness yet another wonderful work of Dan Tao, a famous local Vietnamese, an accomplished musician, a dedicated educator, and one of my great friends. Ladies and gentlemen, history tells us that when immigrants and refugees arrived to Australia, they quickly start making contribution to this country and add to our multiculturalism in South Australia. And some people make that contribution in government, in politics, and in the development of improvement of social policy. In particular, we have Professor B. Van Tran, who's been here for many, many years and has been contributing in the university's tertiary education for a long, long time. And many, many other professional people also from the Vietnamese community have, who have been working so hard to build up the society that we all enjoy. Many others still making it in business, in industry, in the professions, in sport, and in particular the community groups. Some of them are active members of the Vietnamese communities in South Australia. The chosen field of the gentleman we are about to meet is of course music. And his contribution has been wonderful and inspiring. My good friend Mr. Dang Tao is a superb performer and a composer and he is a gifted and dedicated teacher. He is a graduate of a famous Saigon National Conservatory of Music and he is the former leader of a band called Bet Viet which was terrifically popular and successful in Vietnam before the communists took over the entire Vietnam in 1975. And this afternoon Dang Tao and his colleagues are going to take us on a nothing less than a fascinating musical journey. By way of various instruments and arrangements, we are going to travel to places like Spain, Greece, Italy, Poland, the Middle East, and of course, our homeland, Vietnam. In musical form, we are going to see the bright colors and smell the lovely scent of the flowers of the world. And by the time we come back home, we will have experienced joy and harmony. This joy and harmony is what Dan Tao has been fostering his whole life as a musician and as a teacher. And with energy and goodwill, it's something that all of us are trying to encourage in our particular way through the advancement of multiculturalism in Australia. I believe many arts form and in particular music is the most effective way of communication of conveying sentiments, conveying ideas and feelings so that we can help closing the human gaps in valuing each other's differences and to foster a more understanding and appreciation of each other's cultures and beliefs. Dan Tao and his colleagues have been using music to help us all travel, do and have a taste of each other's culture, history and customs. By doing so, they are indeed enhancing the spirit of multiculturalism, improving social harmony, and to make Australia a richer and a more inclusive society. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor to say a few words and to see you, so many fans here this afternoon. I greatly appreciate your attendance. And I warmly thank the musicians who are so generously performing for us today. Please put your hand together to welcome Dan Tao. Thank you. 